FS5 breakdown, take one. All right, so I'm gonna go over a few of my favorite things about my main camera, the Sony FS5 Mark II. The slow-mo on this camera is stupid. Most of the time I use 240 frames per second. One thing I love most about the 240 frames per second is that I'm able to shoot handheld and the motions I get, it look like I'm shooting with a gimbal, but really I'm just using my hands. But since it's so slow, you see less of that jitter and the shot just look a lot more smooth. So it allows me to get shots really quick, especially B-roll shots if I'm doing weddings, like jewelry, uh, even if I'm getting close up to someone's face or a portrait and I want like a little bit of camera motion, I can always go 240 frames per second because it allows me to be able to move quick and not have to worry about having a gimbal with me or too much equipment. So the next thing is the ND filter on this camera. It has these variable ND filters built into the camera and that really helps a lot. Because for one, whenever you're somewhere like a bright sun, we have really bright exposure. It allows you to bring those stops down without having to touch your ISO or without having to touch your uh, shutter speed or your aperture. So it, it gives you a lot more control over your settings and your exposure. So example I would give is if you're shooting in a bright sun and you want to still separate your subject from the background and still keep a low aperture, you can still shoot at 1.8 without having to jack up your shutter speed all the way up to, you know, 1 4,000. You can still keep it at 1.8, keep your uh, shutter speed pretty low and just turn up the notch on your ND filter. I think the ND filter stops, it goes from 1.8 all the way to like the 1.28 or something crazy like that. All right, so this is probably like one of the coolest and one of my favorite features of this camera. So it has this thing called end trigger. With end trigger, basically, when you press record, it records the last eight seconds of what it just saw. So I know that may seem kind of weird, but if I have my camera on and I'm focusing on something for at least eight seconds and I press record, it records the last eight seconds of that. So that way, if I'm trying to capture a moment or a specific thing that's happened in time, a specific, a specific thing that's happened in time, then I don't have to keep using up memory card space. I can go ahead and just, boom, once the thing happens, press record, and it's gonna record what it just saw. Another thing I love about this camera is that it's a really good handheld camera. It has a hand grip on the right side of the camera, which allows you to get a good firm grip of the camera. A lot of times when you shoot with DSLRs, you can get a good grip if you have a big lens, but for the most part, if you're someone like me with big hands, those small cameras can feel a little flimsy at times. And having like a big sturdy camera, it allows you to really get nice steady shots. The lighter weight you're shooting with, the more likely your footage is gonna be shaky if you're trying to do handheld. Like some people are really, really good at holding handheld, but when you're holding something that's more heavy, it's less likely to get that shake and those jitters in it, if you know what I'm saying. Not only does it have the side handle, it also has a handle up top. So if you wanna to try to get low shots, you can always grab it from the top and just get low if you wanna point up. You can get all different type of variations with this camera. Also has a dual card slot. I love that because whenever I'm shooting corporate stuff and especially weddings, um, I can have two cards in there. I either can have the same information going to two cards just to back up, or I can have one card gets full, then after that, it'll start reading to the next card. I love the multiple record buttons. There's a record button on the handle. It's the record button on the side. It's the record button on the top grip. It also has optical zoom. So optical zoom basically is also on the handlebar on the side handle and even if I have a prime lens like a 35 mm that's fixed, it can still zoom in even tighter to almost like an 80 millimeter if I want to get that tight. So that's pretty cool and you really don't lose any quality with that. It just allows you to punch in if you need to. Another thing I love about it, you can completely break it down. Like you want to take off the handles, you want to take off the monitor, whatever it is, you can take it all down to like a little small box. So if you want to make it compact, make it easy to travel with, or if you're trying to like shoot in a really tight spot, you can break the whole body down and still be able to shoot with it. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I just wanted to go over this camera just in case if anyone else was interested in getting this camera or if anyone just wanted to know for whatever reason. You know what, all y'all parents out there always posting pictures of y'all babies, talking about, oh, this is my baby, a million pictures of your baby. Yo, your baby went to first grade. He said his first words, his first steps. Okay, you know what? This is my baby. I'm gonna talk about my baby. You know what I'm saying? So just give me this minute, give me this moment to just appreciate my baby and just the joy that she brings to my life. All right, guys, you guys be safe out there and until next time.